just when you thought winter is over, a cut of low weather system brings cold weather in for the southwestern areas and a slight chance of a mix of light snow and rain here in part of the crew and later over the mountainous areas of Lesotho. So let's see where it's going to be cold on Thursday. The cut of low nears South Africa but remains south of the country. That's also where most of the severe weather will move. But early in the morning, a band of thunderstorms will already stretch over the northern Cape into the eastern Cape, later becoming scattered over the eastern areas. And the tail of the cut of low will bring in a few scattered showers and thunderstorms for the extreme southwestern areas. A strong northeasterly wind the morning along the coast of Kuzuli Natal, a northwesterly wind picking up here in Cape Town, and a windy afternoon for the entire of South Africa. That's why the Weather Service is warning against runaway fires. Isolated showers and thunderstorms expected since early over parts of the northern Cape, stretching into the eastern Cape, later becoming scattered here over the northern and eastern areas, including the southern parts of the Free State, and then the tail will bring in scattered showers for the extreme southwestern areas of the Western Cape. Most of the rain falling over the mountainous areas and the western parts of the Winelands. In the Western Cape, as mentioned, an icy cold west northwesterly wind blowing, bringing in lots of cloud and isolated to scattered showers. A few thunderstorms also likely on a Thursday, but as mentioned, most of the rain falling in the vicinity of Stellenbosch and the mountainous areas. Remaining dry here in the Little Crew as well as the garden route, maximum temperatures below 20 degrees. Early in the morning, a few thunderstorms already stretching from the northern Cape into the eastern Cape. It's a partly cloudy and windy day with thunderstorms later redeveloping and becoming scattered over the northern and eastern areas. And then into Thursday night, a few of those storms likely to move over the coastal areas. A strong northeasterly wind in the morning along the coast of Kuzuli Natal. Late a warm to hot day with 30 degrees in Peter Marisburg as well as Lady Smith. Cold at first the morning in parts of Mpumalanga, but lots of high level cloud moving over the province and maximum temperatures expected in the mid 20s and reaching 30 degrees in the low felt. Also, a much warmer day ahead for Limpopo, some high level cloud moving over the province and maximum temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. It's a warm and windy day for Northwest, therefore, the South African Weather Service yet again warning against runaway fires. In the Northern Cape, it's cold over the southern areas with partly cloudy skies, mild over the interior and warm in the northern parts. Early in the morning, a band of thunderstorms already stretching over the eastern areas. Later, those thunderstorms are reaching the western and southern parts of the Free State. It's a windy day, runaway fires at risk of temperatures above 20. Another windy, dry and warm day for Halting, therefore more runaway fires possible over parts of Halting. And then overnight into Friday, mainly dry conditions for South Africa. Only a few isolated showers likely over parts of Kuzuli Natal, where it's also going to be much cooler and in parts of Mpumalanga. And then on a Saturday, maximum temperatures in the mid to upper 20s for the central parts of South Africa. Still quite chilly along the coast and temperatures now reaching the lower 20s in Kuzuli Natal. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.